Hi everybody, uh, back in here for Rivet Training and in this exercise we want to create a in-place slab depression for a foundation floor. So let's go to our new families and let's go down to a generic model. We want to use floor base and we'll say open. As this opens up, now nah, we're good, we're in there. So we want the first thing we want to do here, we want to file. I haven't been doing this a lot lately. Let's save as family. And let's call this, um, I want to say this on my desktop so I can find it easy. It's called the slab-based depression. I'm sorry, slab depression component. And we'll say options. We'll want that to be one, unless you want to do some different variations, and we'll save it. Now, the first thing we want to do here is always we want to create our reference plane. So let's create on the create tab. Let's do reference plane. Let's put a plane through there. One there. And one here. Okay, now then we want to set a line dimensions. Set equality. Same here. Make equality. And then we'll do an overall. And one here as well. <clears throat> so now we want to create some parameters here. So We'll grab this dimension and we'll set the add parameter and we'll call this depression width. And we want to make this an instance parameter. We'll say OK. For this one, we're going to create a parameter and let's call this. Depression link. And this is an instance parameter as well. And we'll click OK. Now let's go into our type properties and do a little flexing here. So let's make this three. And this one will be four, four feet. Click apply. OK. All right. So everything seems to be flexing well. Now we need to go into our front elevation. Double click to bring it into view, and we'll create another reference plane just below our reference level. Click to modify, then let's create a, a line dimension and give this a parameter. Always select modify, you want to get out of a command, and you will create a new reference plane. And we'll call this our we'll call this our depression depth. And this will be an instance parameter as well. And we'll select OK. So that's at five inches. Let's flex it. Let's make this let's make it six inches. Now let's make it three. It shouldn't be, we won't be, I don't think you need to go that deep, but the good thing is these are instance parameters and they can go any depth you want. So that's flex as well. We're looking good. So now let's go back into our reference level. Now once we're in our reference level, we want to go to create tab. We want to create an extrusion, but this time we want to create a board extrusion. So we select that board extrusion and go to pick line and we want to have this lock setting set and we'll just so select this line and we want to clean up the um, edges we'll start the trim to corner 
Just always select the lines you want to keep. And let's finish it. Okay, now let's go back into our front elevation. And as you can see, we need to align this to this reference plane. Let's just simply align and lock. Now let's go back into our 3D view. And let's change this to a shaded view. Now with shaded, and as you can see, there's our void. But we need to cut the geometry. So let's select this base and select the geometry. And there's our depression. Very simple family. Now let's test this guy out. So let's go into our file. Let's do a new project. And let's use the structural template. We'll say OK. Now we're into our structural project template. And we want to go into structure. Since we made this a floor based structure, let's go to slab. And let's create a just a rectangular slab representative of our floor and click finish. Now there's our floor slab. So we can simply go back into our family that we created slab depression and now let's load this into our project now we're in here all we have to do is go in and just place it and there's our depression let's look at this in 3d view and let's make this let's make this shaded and there you see it and see the good thing about it, oh, I placed another one, sorry. So we have that in there. So let's go back into our reference level. Oh, it was level two, sorry. Go back to level two. And we can select this and we can change, since this is an instance, we can change the width over here. Let's make this 12. Or we can use our grip handles. And let's look at this in 3D. So this is basically how you do this. And let's try the depth now. Let's set the depth a little differently. We need to tab and find it. Bring this down to six inches. So it's cutting right through the floor because the floor is not that thick. But anyway, that's how you do this. Uh, this is a uh, an in place slab depression family. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free and um, tap, subscribe to this video if you like it. Post comments; it helps me out a lot. Uh, if you want any suggestions of anything you want like for me to create. Put it in the note columns or email me and I'll be happy to show you. Thanks for watching. Bye.